What's up guys, Hotra Frontier, back at it again with another video, and in this video I have Jay Solis with his Speed Roid strategy for October 2024. He's an absolute fool, but alright, here we go. Let's go right to it. Let's see, starting off with the monsters, of course. We got three Speed Roid Teratops. That's a, no, yeah, everyone else, that's a staple. It's sinful if you don't run these three. Have that as well. I mean, it is Speed Roy Teratop, right? Have that two taking Tom boards. Obviously, it gets the two to the field. For me, I actually like running two Ultra Hounds. It's more to actually just getting the Speed Roy trap into the grave in order to having the materials to summon out the link. And I also love running two of the Speed Roy double yo yo's because with the Speed Roy link, you're able to pitch either search this to get to your hand and then ditch out the then put Speed Roy tear top into the grid, so when Speed Roy onto the field and just get more materials for it. I love doing that combo. The Roman Shooter, three field. We got three cart. Cart turbo! Free tuner, give you bonuses. It's a good tuner overall. Oh my gosh. Then we have two dun dun dango dango dunk as a dango dunk, right? It's been a minute since I call, I call him <laughs> Hey, the it's your deck. I call him the Duke. The Duke? The Duke. He's a Duke, okay. Allows him to revive all the tuners from your hand or the grave, specifically from the grave. Okay, okay. And these are more just the one off for the speed rates. I'm I used to have like I used to have two Cuba Red Eyes. I'm doing one right now, and I'm also doing one of the Speedroid Malicious Magnet. Ooh, okay. This is more the fact that because on my opponent's turn, I can then use their material to summon out a speed, a, 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 another Speedroid, another Wind Monster from my extra deck. Just so, like, from right now, materials. It's all mine. <laughs> Jay's a very complicated man. You have to understand this. Oh, I, yeah, my deck this. is just for me. Only for me. And then for me, I actually do run like three uh, win, uh, win, Wayne, win of the wind channel. Wayne, the wind channel. This helps me search out literally all, any speakers I'm on. Interesting, okay. I'm, I, because I prefer this in my hand because I like pitching out Duke or I've had any speed that wants to be in the grave to be in the grave and search out a card to bring it out. Okay. Or etc. So it helps me like let my columns be more flexible. That's why I like I like uh, right here. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. And then we have two, uh, two, uh, two more other techs. This is more randomish because they all have to be win. And I looked up. Oh, these are cool win stuff. Let me add them in. So I'm not pronouncing his full name, but we got this big boy, Lord of Swords. More the fact that like it's gonna be a big body on the field, direct attack, and you have the option either to let your opponent screw himself over to get more cards, or allow him to exist. Interesting. Okay. So uh, that's the only reason I run him. And then I do run on heavily the four Metadora. This is more just like to get rid, rid of any like high level uh, card zone from the extra deck. More for one-up because I don't really draw him as much, but it's like, mm -hmm. he's there. So he's one essential, he's essential. One card screw? I'm not really, no. No? <laughs> I just like, it, it only cost me 50 cents, why not? <laughs> that, that goes for, oh. so for the main monster, that's the main monster cards. That'd be it. If the hand traps, I usually just run two Ash Blossoms and two Infinite Imperms. Okay, so pretty standard. Two Ash Blossoms and, of course, two Imperms. Not bad, not bad. My only opinion is that for hand traps, I don't like running a lot of hand traps. So you don't like, want your hand to get too cloggy. Sure, we can go with that. Right? Yeah. Also, because like for me, like I don't know why, when I make my decks, hand traps get more bricky. Okay. Me. So I like trying like two of hand traps. So if I would have more hand traps, it would just be another set of two each, or at least eight in total. Mm -hmm. Because for me, that's more consistent. Or at least like two uh, two hand two monster hand traps, mm -hmm. or it would be two imperms or something else that would be a hand trap. So okay. It helps with me a lot. Fair point. A lot. And then we're on to the spell. We have two triple tactic talents. Ooh, nice. Okay. It's helps out for more for going to turn two to get more cards. Ooh. Then we do have three speed rubber recoveries. Self explanatory. Speed droids all day, every day. <laughs> one pot of avarice. This card, this deck really goes through material too fast. So I've been testing out the one. It is okay. I might want to up it to two. But that'll be for later. Because I'm waiting for the new support to come out. But, oh. Speed so you are so you're happy with the new support that's coming out, huh? Hell yeah! Yes, I'm happy. It's more roids. More roids. No, no, more speed roids. Speed roids. The right roids. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, and then we just have our one ops for, for the regular spells, which would be one mighty vortex, one foolish burial, and one reasoning. Okay. These are more like cards like I don't have to draw often, but if I do, they all pop up. I hope not. Interesting. But well, this is at two. I like running at one. Okay. It's more like for me, it's like it's just. It's like a regaki for me. It literally okay. is a better regaki. It's like for me, I just need regaki more at a one-off for my deck. And so like this does both two, two birds with one stone for spells and for monsters. Mm -hmm. and, and going turn second, why not? Okay, fair point. Cook king cook. And for uh, two more uh, more spells, this is the only other speedroid uh, spells I do run, which is the speedroid wheel. I know people actually do run speedroid scratch off. I prefer Wind Chandler more over that. So that's why I'm using Wind Chandler over Speed Roy uh, Scratch. But I know with the new support, I'm going to see how the deck files are released, mm -hmm. and how the deck works, and then I'll consider adding in Scratch Off. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Just, my deck is more just a fun game. It's more my fun game. I don't like being a dick, but I also like it's having fun. It's Jay's Speed Roy deck. And if it lasts the spells, it'll just be a call by the Nice, nice. And the only trap, other than the, the two Impermis, duplicate. Either use it as a trap to get rid of the monsters, or use it for a material with Hound and to the grave to use the material for the speed Alright. Right, Pretty on. solid. And how much? How many cards are in this stack? Uh, 40. It's 40, 40. 40. Okay. I like keeping it at 40 because for me, any cards more than that, it's a bit... I like consistency. It's the way I like it. And this, and this works. This works. Alright, now we're on to the extra deck. We have two speed wear urban shooters. Strong at two. I think nice. two, two is enough. Like for me personally, like I've never really seen people get rid of my links. They usually go for the big monsters, and that's why they leave it as it is. And if for late game too, I do have the one pot of avarice. So if I'm lucky, if you're lucky, you draw the one off. It comes back to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then for other ones, uh, there's gonna be two of the other guys. Okay. I know for the fact that there's a release in the, the news. What is it called again? Clear, clear, uh, clear wings, something. Essentially, it's a better version of uh, Crystal Clear Wing mm -hmm. that I've actually replaced. That I love running this one too because it's such a gambling card. Because literally, it benefits you having for a late game by having more materials in the grave. Because you need more tuners in order to act with pocket mm -hmm. when you roll the dice. I like popping. You like to gamble. I like to gamble. I think that's how it works. So I'm not gonna explain anything like that. Right, keep going on. We have a QB. Literally is Synchro Dark Law. We have nice. two Crystal Wings. Crystal one. We have the one Hydrate. Who does not want that? Nice, nice. And then for the two level sevens, we do have just one version of each crystal regular clear wing and then fast wing. Right. How do you feel about fast wing? Fast wing, I actually barely use him because I use him more as a pitch to banish to, to the banishment. I'm sorry, the new zone, the banishment, banishment uh, for the link just to get more materials. Mm -hmm. But I do sometimes go iffy depending on the deck I'm playing. If they're more like an effect based deck, I'm sure I'll go with this. But usually I go into clearing more often because I will have all the big beaters, gotcha. clearings, okay. the, the high speed roids, or the crystal clearing because we'll be on the field to protect them too. Mm -hmm. so, well, you are the speed more master, so no, I trust you. Yeah, you trust me. Oh my god. And then we do have a, for the level 6, would just be a, the Virtual Lord Beast Juju. This helps just banish materials on the field. Uh, and then for the rest of the spirits, we do have a Hegatara and Shambara. I am debating just running like two uh, Hegatara because I like some of the more big guys, but. Shambara has always been a, when it came released mm -hmm. for, the, for the original set. This is the original, by the way, original secret. Oh, from high speed riders. Nice. High speed riders. <laughs> And then lastly, just uh, two high speed Roy support shooters. Interesting. So this card actually did go up in price because of the speed Roy support. I would, yeah, so I would imagine. It's, so it is really broken for the deck? Of course, why would it not be broken? It lets you just search out any speed Roy spell you want, or bring back the materials to keep going off on your comments. It's amazing. All right, so you hear that from Jay. This is the most broken card in speed Roy's. I, I, I would say at the moment. I gotta look at a new support. I just gotta look at a new support. And for my side deck, it's at home. It's at home. So, it's alright. We'll get it next time. We'll make sure you put it together and uh, you'll pick it up from home, right? And then we'll do a new profile maybe next month. Yeah. Okay. 
It's a good, it's all good. But uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the Speedboy deck profile with Jay for October 2024. Uh, definitely go ahead and check out our pack opening we did on the previous video. But um, if you guys, of course, had enjoyed the video, definitely go ahead and give it a huge like. Comment down below. Any questions for Jay, the Speedroid Master? And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on so you're updated the moment I upload new videos. All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.